Good morning from the Peace River Thousand Trails. Today I'm going to get started on my uh, to-do list by trying to solve a problem that we've been having. Uh, since we've been in the hot climates, we've been wanting to drive with the windows down in the front of the motorhome. And what this does is it creates a vacuum on the black water poop tank. And it just really does not smell good. Uh, it's mildly tolerable if the tank has just been emptied and we kind of you know, flush it out and clean it up. But you know, if you have a few days worth of uh, deposits in there, it's just horrible. And I don't know, I, unless it's blazing hot, I'd rather run, the, uh, run with the windows down instead of the air conditioner. I don't know, just kind of like uh, the fresh air. But I uh, went on to the internet and found some people talking about this. It's called the Cyclone. I picked it up on Amazon, it was under 20 bucks. But essentially it sits on top of the vent pipe and it creates a positive vacuum out the top of the vent pipe instead of when I open the windows, that window in the front of the motorhome becomes the vacuum and the poop smell comes up through the uh, whole coach. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Apparently I just pop the cap off, slide this on, uh, drill a few holes to screw it in and uh, seal it up. And I've made sure I have everything I think that I should need when I go climbing the roof on this ladder because I don't want to be going up and down, up and down. A uh, big guy like me really has no place on a little ladder adhered to a fiberglass wall. So I'm going to get up and down and uh, hopefully only have to go do that once. Here's what I'm gonna bring up the ladder with me. I'm gonna bring in the drill, and yeah, I really need to get a uh, cordless drill. Mine uh, took a dump uh, about a year ago, and the battery uh, wasn't even replaceable. I couldn't even find it on the internet. It was a Kawasaki one from Costco that lasted about five years. All right, moving on. Good old pocket knife, all-in-one screwdriver, rag, because it's gonna get messy up there. The Cyclone. I've kind of gotten fond of this Lexel stuff. I used it on the uh, roof of our house at home on our stovepipe there. So I figured if it could handle a stovepipe on a house, it can handle a motorhome. And then here are the screws and the little base plate. And I'm also going to be bringing you on the good old camera. I just had an idea and I'm going to use one of our uh, kind of eco-friendly reusable grocery bags to help get all this stuff up to the roof because I'm gonna want my hands free so I can brace myself when I fall, I guess. Well, now here's a little dilemma. Which one is the pooper vent versus the gray water? You got two. The only not so scientific test I can think of would be the old sniff test. sniff test is inconclusive. I think it's about a 50-50 shot here, but I'm gonna call it maybe a 60-40 because this outer one, I think uh, has a bit of an orange smell, which is the orange tank freshener stuff that we put in. I just watched a couple YouTube videos on installing these and almost all of them, the outermost vent is the uh, one for the black tank. So I'd say I'm now 70% in favor of actually getting the right vent. I'm starting to just peel away the silicone and I don't want to use a knife and rip the rubber roof. So I'm just going to take this nice and slow. I've got most of the silicone removed and I just ran into a little surprise. There are little bolt heads right there. So I wasn't prepared for that, but I am going to see if this is the right size my little trusty all-in-one screwdriver i guess there is a chance that it'll fit oh oh my i think i need to buy a lottery ticket it's my lucky day ha huh, sweet here's the exposed pipe and i got most of the old silicone removed i'm still going to clean it up a little further though all right, this is really frustrating. 
this supposedly fits most RVs. It does not fit my RV, and I'm gonna have to go to a plumbing store and buy some type of an adapter. This blows or sucks. What's going on here is this is larger than my pipe coming out. So I'm gonna have to probably hop on my bicycle and go to a plumbing store here in town or a hardware store and get some PVC pipe and try to fit something around that so we get a good seal. Back on solid ground, now I need to find out how far away this uh, hardware store is because I think I'm gonna have to bike it. Well, I just looked in the wet bay and I think I'm now like 90% sure I have the right pipe. Uh, the reason why is I'm able to view the holding tanks a little bit during in the wet bay and it does appear that that uh, vent comes from the black water tank. So, hey, I'm feeling a little better about it. But it does suck because there's a lot of damn road noise here. I will pick that up. So there's a good side and a bad side to me having to uh, run to a hardware store. I guess the good side is one of the things on my to-do list was to exercise. Not really my way of uh, wanting to do exercise because the tractor supply company is 2.4 miles down the highway. So that's really not my idea of a fun bike ride. So I'm not gonna do any videoing, so I have my hands completely free, helmet will be on, and I will uh, see you from the Wachula Tractor Supply Company. Okay, I've made it here to Tractor Supply Company, and uh, the ride wasn't bad at all. Aside from the way here, it was just a long, steady uphill bike ride. But nothing extreme, but the type of uh, bike ride that on the way back to the uh, campground will be nice because it's just going to be kind of smooth sailing. Time to go inside. Well, it turns out that the tractor supply company does not have enough of the uh, fittings to uh, do what I need to do, so now I need to head down the highway and go to an Ace. I guess it's not too far away. I found what I needed here at the Ace Hardware, and it turns out Ace is the place. Um, picked up a, a one quarter female PVC pipe to a uh, one half male adapter, which should do everything I needed. I also picked up two extra tubes of the uh, Lexel sealant because I don't want to run out while I'm up there. And uh, also, firm believer that everything happens for a reason, um, I found a little surprise on my way up here that I wouldn't have found if Tractor Supply Company had what I needed. So I'm going to go get some lunch. Everybody has to have a few guilty pleasures, and uh, one of ours is Sonic Slushes. Not big fans of their food, but I'm gonna grab a bite to eat while we're here. But those uh, chemically laden, artificially colored slushes really are good. Well, that hit the spot. Time to start working my way back to the campground. Hey, I'm back, up here on the roof, and uh, now's the moment of truth to see if the adapter I picked up works. Here's the adapter I got from Ace, which fits into there. Now, here it is. Oh yeah, we're in business. Since that adapter uh, fit, I'm not gonna mess around anymore. I'm just gonna bust this project out. I am a little frustrated because what should have taken uh, a little bit of time is pretty much taken the better part of the day. And I know there's many factors, like we didn't bring a tow vehicle and whatnot, which would have really sped things up. But hey, it's life and everything happens for a reason. I'm gonna get this one done real quick. Here's the finished product. I have the roof all sealed up. I kind of like to use this Lexel stuff. I guess I didn't need the two brand new bottles that I purchased at Ace, but I wasn't gonna get caught off guard. So I just smeared it all over there and the principle is you're driving down the road, the wind is coming this way, it's going to sit like this and create a vacuum so all the uh, black tank odors go out that way. We'll see if it works. Sure was a pain in the ass getting it all done today. Okay, that project killed the better part of the day. Um, 
it's a couple hours before the sun goes down and I'm going to take the opportunity to go fishing again. I don't know uh, what the odds actually catching something there are, but hey, you know what? I'm going to do it anyways because I love fishing. I also picked up some uh, bass fishing gear at Walmart the other day. It's more specific to uh, the Peace River here. The water here is very dark, so I picked up a uh, selection of light-colored baits, but I can pick up some more uh, baits along the uh, trip as we uh, continue our way through bass fishing country. I decided to keep it simple and buy another one of these uh, Plano packs, or this one's made by Flambeau. I like these. I kind of have them uh, set up for each fishery and in this case this is going to be my new bass fishing box with all these goodies and I'll pull a few things out of my other boxes that will uh, do the job so when I head out this is what I take. This is more like it. I love these boxes. They make it really easy for me just to uh, pick up and go fishing really easy. And I have a variety of hooks. I like having some beads for protecting knots. There's swivel, smaller hooks, a variety of weights, and then some uh, hard baits. These little things are uh, like a sluggo. My buddy Mike and I used to use them in California to catch bass all the time. And uh, they get a really good action. And then a little spinner bait, and I threw in a few of my trout lures. Those could work on panfish, and then just some worms. I'm all set. I just had a good idea. Now I'm all set to go fishing. Hey, I'm here at the fishing spot and got my line out already right there and it's only about 10 15 feet out into that little eddy where I'm uh, soaking my bait and <laughs> it's a piece of wood that is floating down river but I'll be damned if it doesn't resemble an alligator with the way it's moving in the current I'm starting to get some light hits and I think this may actually be a fish that's about to take the hook so I gotta figure out how to film and uh, fish at the same time not sure what it is because this was happening yesterday all these little hits but this is a little stronger than the ones before okay I got a fish on We got a nice little catfish here. One thing about catfish is they have spines on their uh, peck and dorsal fins, so you need to grab them carefully. Say hello to Mr. Catfish. Kind of a fat sucker. Yeah, pretty good size belly. These guys are very durable, so I'm gonna release them. I know they taste great, but I'm just not in the mood right now to go clean and fish. There you go. That was also a charitable fish. It gave me my bait back. And I am running low on bait, so every uh, little strip counts. So that's pretty cool. I was able to reuse the bait. Got the rod out and fishing my little hole right there. Looks like we might have another fish starting to hit. Took some uh, pretty big pulls at the rod. Come on back.
swing and a miss. It's time for a fresh piece of bait, and I put a little chunk of shrimp on there, in addition to the little fleshy piece of uh, whatever strip bait I was using back in North Carolina. My baits are not big here because these fish are not very big. So I'm not casting out very far either. That's like 10 feet out. Okay, we got one hitting right now. Ah, oh, that thief. Maybe I need a smaller hook. So every time I've been uh, farming these fish, the rod has been acting just like this. Yeah, you know, hitting really good, but I think I need smaller hooks. I'm going to let this fish just sit on it for a while. Okay, I got another one of them. This one's just a baby. This would explain why I'm getting why I'm getting all those hits. Lots of small fish down there. So, there it is. Small little catfish. I'm starting to run out of bait. It's time for this video to come to an end. These uh, little catfish have stolen all my bait and I'm gonna have to uh, think of something else to uh, use. Maybe I can have salmon for dinner and just cut off a little chunk of that belly meat there. That might work. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you and enjoy the ride.